you've probably seen people complain about the thermal pads that companies put on their graphics cards, the thermal paste that they put on there, like this stuff is trash, garbage, you need to replace it. When I have a serious talk today, because as everything goes in life, it depends. Let me explain. I have a Zotac Amp Hollow RTX 3080. Now this card tends to run really hot. Um, a lot hotter than other 3080s, and I'm not happy with those temperatures. Obviously, for good reason. It gets loud, it's hot, it heats up the room, it does other things. It just does not run that well, and it concerns the longevity of the card for me. The memory temperatures were getting over 100 degrees. The GPU die temperatures were maxing out like 86, and it could not keep up. The cooler couldn't even keep up with it. It was throttling at 86 degrees. It's hot. Fans are almost at 100%. It's just like, that's not feasible to run a graphics card like that. You can't even enjoy yourself when you're, you have a jet turbine under your desk. So I was like, oh, may, maybe if I replace these things, maybe if I replace the thermal pads, the thermal paste, that we get an improvement in temperatures. And I was like, well, I know that the Zotac Amp Hollow isn't a very highly rated card. And I'm still I was still questioning at that point in time, like, is it even worth replacing it? Now I'm going to tell you right here today, this might be a controversial opinion. It wasn't worth it. At least for the card that I had, it apparently had good enough thermal pads and thermal paste on it that it really didn't make a difference when I replaced it. And to do this, you're looking at about $50 plus tools and at least an hour of your time if you're efficient. And that's just like, that's that's a hard pill to swallow. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. And then all at the same time, voiding your warranty and possibly bricking your card. Is that really worth it? I wasn't scared for me of bricking my card, but is that really worth it? The temperatures were not that different after replacing this. The GPU at stock temperatures was able to boost about 50 megahertz higher. I mean like a whole 50 megahertz. It was insane. The fan speed was a little bit lower at the stock fan curve but it didn't really change that much like let's be honest here um it wasn't worth the risk or the effort or the money to do it um it dropped about probably i guess in total it probably would have dropped like three four degrees the card undervolted the main core temperature dropped about three to four degrees or something it was somewhere in there it, it wasn't that significant in the grand scheme of things yeah it dropped about three to four degrees Fan speeds were able to stay a little bit lower for a longer period of time. They still got up to where they were pretty much, didn't really change. What I can come out of this saying is that I don't really think it's that worth it unless you know for sure that your graphics card has bad thermal pads and bad thermal paste. Now, most of the times you can tell that by if you have a Founders Edition card. Um, if you have a Founders Edition or a stock card from the manufacturer, so you have a Radeon card, typically the thermal pads are bad on the base models. That's not that's not 100% guaranteed, but sometimes they are. So I would, before you replace your thermal pads, I would really do your research. Even if you have a high-end card, sometimes the thermals can be bad on it. Sometimes that's not because of the pads or the paste. Sometimes it's to the fault of the card, like in the Zotac Amp Hollow. But sometimes it could be the pads and the pace, and that'd be a simple change that you can make by yourself to really improve your graphics card's longevity and the quality of life when you're using it. You need to do your research. Sometimes it can be worth a shot if you can't find anything on it, because honestly, graphics cards aren't the most, like, well-documented things. I mean, sometimes you could find it clear. Someone like wrote it out and was like, hey, the thermals aren't good on this. When you replace the pads, replace the pace, you get a 20 degree drop on your RAM. That's incredible. That doesn't happen with every card. So you, before you take that risk, before you take that leap, really do your research, do your due diligence and make sure you're actually going to get something out of it um, instead of kind of getting fooled like I did. I mean, I, I thought I was going to get better results than I did, and it really didn't go that well for me. So um, anyways, I hope that this video answers any questions. If you're thinking about replacing your 
thermal pads or your thermal paste. Before you go into that, hopefully this can answer some questions about is it even worth doing. In my case, it wasn't really worth doing. I probably would have rather not done it, but it was a good experience. Um, I learned from it and now I know how to take apart a GPU. I don't know if it'll be the same for every GPU, it probably won't, but I have that experience under my belt that I can like say, hey, I did this and I've learned and grown from it. Good luck to you. And I hope you can find what you're looking for on this because it is uh, it's kind of tricky to find out some answers uh, if it's worth doing things. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Is that a capybara? Yeah. Oh my God, they killed a capybara. Capybara. So the big dude, big guy, Jay Schlatt. Yeah, I just killed about 15 of your men. This isn't the way I hope you me. You know I've been interested in your work. I just killed 15. Don't hurt her. 